welcome Paula here and just in time for our awesome sunrise once again so last episode I was trying to make a well first of all I fell down a hole and then decided to turn that into a mushroom farm then decided to turn that into a tree farm so I did that which let me show you made a nice little staircase down here just because it was a pain getting down up and down without getting hurt and move big and somewhere beyond this tree I made this it doesn't look like much and I'm probably going to get rid of it but for now it will serve I was just wanting to cover this uh, trap door I've made in here possibly going to turn it into a, a lighthouse of sorts but I'm going to wait till I get some lanterns or glowstone so anyway we go down here and voila I set up this little tree farm it's been working pretty well so far I raised the roof a little bit more as well just so you know I'll get some mega trees going but I might want to raise it one more I'm not entirely sure how high they need to be but these have been growing branches so but yeah I mean I set this little walkway up around which has just made it easier so that's good and let me show you oh yeah I made sure there's grass grew down here just because it looks nicer I can't tell you how long it took to get the grass from all the way up there to down here but I did it okay now this this is my first of all I rarely ever use redstone I mean I think I might have used it once and that was just to make a pattern on the floor not even use it as circuitry so I made some pistons and if you look down there we've got some lavas and I had a great plan you see see was uh, my mushroom farms in there and I thought well if I put lava in there if mobs do spawn they'll fall into the lava the only problem with that is mushrooms require a certain level of light or no light I should say and I, I had no idea that lava produces the most light next to the sun and uh, pumpkins and things like that so I quickly scrapped that idea bricked all this off and put this pit here so if anything is in there it will come out and then drop down otherwise there I have a little drawbridge and I do have mushrooms in here and they are growing so or spreading I should say so that's going pretty well and yeah one thing I was trying to do in there originally was make a uh, wheat farm but the problem was because of this doku texture pack as much as I love doku craft and this texture pack there's a let me show you the tilled ground has like edges to it like that there now I don't mind the edges I think it looks awesome especially when it's you know next to other grass the only problem with that is though I forgot about that completely so when I did set up my wheat farm down there it just looked really weird once I had tilled all the ground so I think it was coming out like this move pig it was coming out I mean I had rows like that which just looks weird so in the end I just thought meh sod it turned it into a mushroom farm so I have a plan to make a wheat farm up, up here I'm gonna fence it off and I need to work out how to do it because I don't want animals spawning in there and stomping over everything that's why I always do them inside one so they can't get in two so I don't tread on them but since it's got edges on it I want to make it fit so I'm thinking of fencing off this corner here and setting up a little wheat farm but before I do any of that I found something cool with the shears that I had no idea of even existed was that if you take shears to a tree the leaves fall off which is pretty cool at least in my mind because something I wanted to do before was make like hedges and stuff 
the only problem is is that if they're not on a not connected to a block you know a tree stump or whatever they'll just decay now I did try putting the tree stump down one underneath a layer of dirt but the leaves still decay so what I can do here is put it like that and they will stay there so I'm just wondering what to do now I kinda wanna uh, kinda wanna make a, a little pattern going on here but I'm not sure how because one I do like the torches but if I get rid of the, all these torches we'll see how it looks Okay. Oops. Okay, let me go get some more leaves. This poor tree here. Although it's in the way, so I'm probably going to get rid of it. Don't even have to rope quick. Uh, don't even have to rope quick. How sweet is that? Okay. So I'm looking here and I can't tell would a two block one look better or would a one? I think a single one would look better, but let's have a look. But why am I wasting that? There we go. That looks pretty nice. And because I still want light to come in, I know light goes through the leaves, at least I believe it does, but can't place a torch on top of the leaves, so where could I put torches? Hmm. Do torches go on fence posts? I'm pretty sure they don't, but No, I could make. Uh, oh, okay. I never knew you could do that. Okay, that must be new because I've never seen that before. And if it existed, I had no idea. So, huh. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. The gears in my head are turning slowly at the moment, so I'm just trying to... I can use that, but I'm just trying to think the best way how. I could make a little archway. Let's have a look see how this looks. So if I'm that high... See, I could just go ahead and... I could just do that, but what if I... Hmm. Okay, so what if I put that there? Is this going to be too low? Don't think so. I mean, I wonder if I could. Is that too many torches or? I 
must admit I do like the look of that. The only thing I wonder is... Yeah, I mean I could have it and do that all the way across, but... That's interesting to know though. That's got me thinking there. Never a good, uh, never a good thing to have me thinking. I might want to get inside. I don't want a creep coming up here. That'll be the last thing I need. But I'm kind of curious. How would that look? Go make one quickly. Move, Mr. Sheep. Don't argue. That does look uh, pretty nice, at least in my opinion. I'm not sure if I want it going all the way across, but it'll be worth checking out. Do I have any... Uh, I do have some wood. Okay, let's get this. I'm definitely going to have to find some way to fence off my home because I want to be outside at night, so... Sticks. There we go, the sun's rising, and zombie, you're gonna burn. Any second now. Any second. It's kind of cruel, but. See, he'll eat me. He'll eat me, but not the uh, pig. How does that work? Man, it looks pretty cool. I wonder what that is over there. It looks like a bridge, but it's just a mountain that hasn't loaded up fully yet. Oh, two creepers. Okay, well I'm not going over there, so. There we go. Qua. Is it safe out here? I hope so. Wow, what's going on with my mouse? Stop it. Okay, so I've got a little archway there. And Creeper sneaking up on me. Okay, so now, how does this look? See, from here, God damn it, move sheep. Take that. You too, Oinka. Okay. See, it looks alright, but I'm just debating if I want it all the way across. Hmm. I kind of want to leave a gap, maybe. So I can get out here to go over there. Let's have, a, let's have a butchers with this idea and see how it looks. Oh, 
Uh oh, creeper. Doesn't look too bad. Hang on. I'm just going to take out this creeper because I feel a bit paranoid having him. going to happen. Oh well. At least no harm was done here. That's where my farm's going to be anyway, so... Oh! Wait, there we go. Okay. So if I have that there, I can get out no problem. And that would mean I could... See, the question is, do I want to continue this all the way? Like so. So that looks kind of weird to me. Hmm. Well, with that said... I could probably just put dirt blocks in the wrong place or I could put that there now is this going to affect the stairs? just about misses it but how's it going to look at the door shut? that might be a bit of a pain but Raise ah, God damn it! I could raise it up one more. Like so. Well, no, but. That's going to look a bit... So now I'm... Now I'd be tempted to bring it all the way. Well, hold on, let's have a... Where's my axe? I hope this doesn't decay, but... I'm thinking this might look better. Yeah, it makes it a bit more even. one here as well and then pow pow Okay, this doesn't look too bad apart from these bits here sticking out. Which I'm not a huge fan on, but 
else? What happens if I get what happens if I get rid of this one down here? How would it look then? Actually, that's oh, that's actually a lot better. That works. Okay, I like that. That is cool. I'm probably going overkill on torches here, but leave nothing to chance. And creepers and zombies and all sorts of things like that are involved. What's going on there? So how does this look from a distance? We'll see. I have tried this in the past, but the problem was trying to get the hedges. You'd have to put the logs down, dig a hole, plant a sapling, and then use bone meal and hope you get it in the right place. But this is so much easier. Okay, well, I think this looks alright, at least for now. There's probably some improvements I could do to it. I might get rid of some of this fencing though, I don't know. It does look like it uh, overwhelms it a bit, but let me know what you all think. Yeah, what else could I do? Uh, no, I think that's good. Notch needs to add uh, gates for fences. That that needs to be in the next patch. Well, what the? F okay. That that not be good. Oh lord. My burning tower. Man, I really gotta start cutting down some of these trees. And before I wrap this up, I just wanna see if any That's not good that I can't see either side there. I really should put in a window. I didn't want to let light in even more, but... I felt that there could be a ninja creeper waiting around the corner, you know. So there we go. Yeah, mushrooms are growing nicely. I might want to extend this wall back a bit so at least the light won't let as much I won't let as much light in. Alrighty. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed everything. If anyone's got any ideas on how I could do ooh, any ideas on how I could improve my house or that little frontal area please let me know sure appreciate it